If I um, compare this to previous years' conferences, we've, it's always been our aim to bring in uh, politicians and project people and make them, not make them, but inspire them to, to cooperate and to discuss uh, issues of, of uh, policy issues and project related issues. But I think this year it's actually we've succeeded because the um, emphasis on interaction has actually forced people to really talk together. There hasn't been any option of hiding in any of the, uh, the workshops, the cluster cafes. Um, the fact that we've Involve everybody, I think, in the discussions are of a very significant importance. What I hope to, to achieve is that we can have a much broader focus in terms of uh, what it is we need. Um, we have had, for instance, this time uh, a workshop of, on uh, creative industries, and maybe that that's could be a very, very uh, important uh, industry in the future. That could be a good example of what we need to to keep our society going. Um, and we've seen similar um, uh, discussions in some of the, the, other, the other workshops, for instance on storytelling, how do we actually come out with our message? Uh, how do we um, make our common identity uh, known in the rest of the world? And what is really our common identity? We always talk about the Vikings, but many things have happened since the Vikings and, and the herrings. Uh, and we need to reinvent, I think, ourselves, our, our identity. And I think conferences like this is a very important step in that direction. I think what we're doing well um, is that we've, we dare to try something new. Um, a conference like this, the easiest thing we could do was just to continue along the same lines as we've been doing for, for, for many years. That would be much easier much less uh, work intensive for, for us. But what would, we don't want to do that. We actually want to, to learn and to learn from the, uh, from the input that we got from the, um, our um, uh, delegates from, from the previous years, where they were looking for something for more interaction. They were looking for something where they had an opportunity to express their views and we dare to try that. I think that's, that's a major, major um, strength. We've learned a lot in that process from other programs uh, like the Northern Free Free programs who have, um, were very innovative in their approach and, and even are more daring than we are. Um, let's just give an, a, as an example their conference report from their, from their annual uh, conference last year was a, uh, a cartoon. Uh, and it's been read by an enormous uh, public, which I have to admit is not very often the case on, on, uh, on conference reports. What's important, what's really important is that we need to keep up um, a very high level of uh, innovation uh, in the North Sea region. We have to face it, we can never compete with the rest of the world uh, in terms of salaries and we don't maybe we don't even want to. Uh, so what we need to do is be able to continue to create products and, and, uh, and services of a very high quality. And the only way we can do that is to keep being innovative. And uh, I think that's, that's the main challenging, challenge facing us in, in these years, because we, uh, we may have had a tendency to be a bit um, self-complacent, really, uh, and, and taking things for granted. We can't do that. We have to find out how we're going to make money and generate wealth in the next 20 years. And that's going to be quite a challenge because we can't just continue doing what we do now. The political involvement is very important because that's, that's what will take the uh, project result that step further and being put into to real life. So it doesn't, we usually say that it doesn't help if you have the best project in the world if nobody knows about it. And we could equ equally say it doesn't help that you have the best results in the world if none of it is ever being used. And that's where the polit political level is such of, of such importance.
the discussions about the next programme period has been going on for some time. And uh, at this stage, we are, as a programme, very much in the, um, in the phase where one week we are closed down and the next week we are ten times to speak. Now that's the name of the game, that's, that's just how it is at this stage. But I think, in contrast to previous years, we actually have um, the opportunity of delivering a much stronger message on where we want to take this region in the future. It appears that the, uh, the Commission is much more open this, this time for uh, tailor-made solutions for, for the regions participating in, in Interac. And uh, if that's the case, obviously we don't know at this stage, but if that proves to be the case, then having conferences like this where we actually try to articulate the uh, messages that we would like to, to, to see uh, in, 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 and the, the direction in which we'd like to take this region, that puts us in a much stronger position. And it ensures that everybody is being heard. I think that's really important. Otherwise, it could very well be uh, the select few that decide on the content of a, pro a programme. And we don't want that. We want all the stakeholders to have a say. And we want it to be the best argument that wins rather than just those who happens to be in the room.